All right, let's try another one. How are we doing on time? We're in pretty good shape here. All right, um, I'm going to do some peel, and who wants to do some juice in here? All right, we're going to do some grapefruit. And uh, grapefruit parsley ginger. This is a really, I really like this recipe. Um, we can start getting into some little bit sweeter stuff for you guys here. And uh, I think you might really like this one here. Now, even though we just had a little plantain, didn't we have a lot of vegetable? It, it, you know, nutrients, what we had? Not, not enough to replace a yeah. meal there. I mean, well, you're, yeah. you're probably at, what? If we had 20 people, we had 32 ounces. You probably had a total of about three, four ounces of juice so far. So that's not... So with your body type, you probably need around you know, 30 ounces of juice or something like that to really go. So you probably need a round, I don't know. I mean, you're going to drink a full of those things there. So, is it is exactly. it more than you might get if you did I, nothing? It is, right? So. Right now, I know I could not drink that as one. Well. Yeah. Then don't do that. Just do a Just small. drink half of it. Drink it throughout the day. Drink it throughout the morning. However, so you feel like you need. Mike, come on, do some juices for me here. Just do okay. just do one grapefruit, all right? So with the grapefruit, it's too oh. big to fit down there. You can cut that thing in half or in quarters. I'll do it in quarters to make it easy. All right. So just uh, open that up and drop it all the way down there. Put your eyes on it. You don't want to look over it like that when you put apples in there. Yeah. You, know. and you can dump like all three of those chunks in there at once if you want. Put it in there. Boom, boom. Fast to speed. And I guess that's my thing. There you go. So Mike Juice, you're on your way. To the fruit blood sugar. So this is going to have a little purple feel because of the beet. It's not going to taste like beet though. Uh, so we need two more, uh, two more grapefruit. And I'm going to take the rest of this bunch of parsley here. And then we're going to cut some ginger. Now ginger, I really like the flavor of ginger. Not everybody might, so yeah. I don't know if I'm just used to the taste now because it doesn't taste strong to me when I do ginger now. If it turns off like that. Um, now you've done it. Yeah. That's, the motor has a shutoff mechanism because the pulp's full there, so we're, we're jam-packed there. So um, we'll get that taken care of. That's what this bowl is here for. Where's this other bowl? So yeah, if you compact the motor down too hard, it'll shut off. If this thing gets full, it's going to kick that out there. But it should always start yeah, right back up. I would put up. some of that in my ground meat <clears throat> or in my soup. <laughs> people make muffins out of it. People put it in their pancakes. People put it in yeah. potato cakes. People put it in all kinds of different things. <laughs> I've had this happen many times before, so if it doesn't turn back on, I, I would be surprised. All right. It won't turn on unless it handles up, too. So you do that. Um, now with your um, citrus fruit, you always peel it. What's that? Your citrus fruit, you always peel it. Yeah, all, for citrus fruits, I would always peel those. Um, I've done it without peeling them. You just got a better yeah. thing at the end. Lemons you can get away with, but I still wouldn't do it with lemons. We get a little more parsley in there. Um, what about apples? You don't have to peel. Yeah, you don't need to peel apples. The citrus fruits, the peels are bitter. So if you don't peel them taste-wise, it's going to affect it. And also, if you're not buying organic stuff, um, a lot of times they're spraying a fungicide on the citrus to let them sit for a while. And you don't want to be concentrating that uh, fungicide in there. So. Is that? Yeah, it kicks it out. It's just, it's a recipe for pomegranate. You have to peel that. Yeah, yeah I, you would have to, that I would do that. I would at least use a kitchen peeler and peel that outer part off, but you can leave that pit type stuff underneath there. But I do pomegranate from time to time. It, it pomegranate is really good. It has that bite to it if you've ever had pomegranate. Um, so now we need some. Did we get two more papers or just one? I just gave you one. Really? <laughs> <laughs>
Do you ever juice? Do you come up and press this down again? All right, so. So just kind of keep a steady firm pressure down on it? Yeah. It's okay. There might be some parsley sprays in there that are catching that. If, if it gets stuck like that, you want to hit it a little bit and then hold some pressure down on it. Okay. There it goes. The handle of that plunger has a flat spot on it, too. Wow, look at that. Just get a little bit backed up inside there. Can we lift that up? Yep, you just leave that in there, sir. Thank you very You're much. You're welcome. You're a professional now. You go home and do it. Not uh, great. Good, we'll have a nice day to knock here. Let's go get one. Thank you. 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 I love grapefruit, especially in the winter. Grapefruit and oranges are uh, in our hemisphere. They're winter fruit um, when the summer, when, in the southern summer. So at this time of year, you'll get these really, really good oranges and grapefruit. They'll be really sweet, good to eat by themselves too. Uh, it's a little more livable. You guys are good. Smell that ginger? You guys are good. Ginger is a wonderful, healthy thing. It's all the plants that nourish the body are. But um, it's been used for years, thousands of years as a healing type of a food and herb there. Okay? You guys are ready to try some of this out? Yeah, it's like a All juice, yeah. All the good stuff. I had to do that last time I worked good. You can do ginger, can you do turmeric? Yeah, I've actually never purchased the roots and done that. I've bought powdered turmeric before and eaten it either in water, which is very powerful, or you can put it in capsules. But yeah, I mean, if it's available, you can do it. I imagine it would be very, a very pungent herb. You'd probably do a little bit in there. Um, yeah. Some summer. You guys should like this one. If you like uh, orange juice or things. Check that down there, Mike. Like, now the ginger might be a little bit. Ginger might be a little bit different if you're not used to eating spicy or stuff or herbs. But um, so you can put a citrus fruit, a root, and a leafy green in there, and it turn out. I mean, it's a pretty good, pretty good thing. It's different. <laughs> Is there a do not juice come around? Yeah. Onion. <laughs> yeah, I don't juice bananas. I don't juice. I mean, people can juice berries and they're great, but I'm not going to juice a berry. I don't do that. So, I, do, I really can't juice a banana in there. Yeah. No reason to juice a banana. If you're going to do that, juice a banana. I think they tell you not to juice a banana in there. Yeah. Even, uh, you'll, you'll notice, and we actually just had that happen as we got a lot of the thick pulp of the. Uh, the beet and the grapefruit in there is the real thick stuff is not going to flow through here and unless you tip that thing forward and help it come out it, it's going to start to build up in there 